hi, Bruno from RVing TV. Today we're taking a look at a 2022 Shadow Cruiser by Cruiser RV. This is a 280 QBS floor plan. The QBS is a 28 foot trailer, single slide with quad bunks. Now before we get started, I'd like to say a special thank you to Bella Vista RV for giving us access to several of their units and this Shadow Cruiser in particular. Today, Bella Vista RV is the Shadow Cruiser dealer for the Greater Toronto, Simcoe, Muskoka area, and they are located in Oro Medonte, Ontario, right on Highway 11. So thank you to Bella Vista, and they have a lot of trailers in stock and available for sale at some great prices. Now, back to the Shadow Cruiser. If you like this video, please click the like button and please subscribe, I greatly appreciate it as we're pushing to the 10,000 and beyond subscriber mark. So I mentioned this Shadow Cruiser is a 28 footer. When I was a Shadow Cruiser dealer over the last several years, this 280 QBS was our number one selling floor plan for about six years in a row. And when I take you through, you'll understand why. Uh, some really great features with this Shadow Cruiser. One, our front cap is a molded cap that is painted. And it's painted so that you don't get that same fade effect that you do, excuse me, out of colored fiberglass. It is a five-sided aluminum structure, so there is no wood in any of the side walls or the roof rafters. It's all aluminum, so this is an ultra-light trailer. This 28, uh, 280 QBS, or 28-foot trailer, I was going to say, weighs in at approximately 6,157 pounds and has a load capacity of 1,653 pounds. Now that's really good considering the load that you're normally gonna need if you're new to this is about 800 to 1,000 pounds on average. If you wanna calculate on the high side, use 1,200 and you're still not near your capacity. Now this Shadow Cruiser doesn't have as much capacity as some of the other Shadow Cruisers we've looked at. The reason for that is we have four bunks, outside kitchen, quite a bit of equipment, so it eats into a bit of that cargo capacity uh, that we've seen. But at 1,653 pounds or 57 pounds, it's very respectable and still gives you lots of clearance. Now let's continue to take a look at this Shadow Cruiser. We have a power tongue jack up front, we have a nice big storage bay, and you'll notice that it's clear and clean to the other side. Aluminum studs that we see supporting the bed, and more importantly, is the plywood that we see supporting the bed. The reason that plywood is used there is in our floor structure here, it's all tongue and groove plywood rather than chipboard that so many use. Less creaking and rattling, I mean, we don't even use tongue and groove in some estate homes these days, and here it is in the Shadow Cruiser. Now, I do like Shadow Cruiser, and as I said, I am a dealer, so you may think I'm a little impartial, but it has been a favorite because they're always trying to innovate and to be better and better the experience that their customers are going to have. And this is one of those things. They've created a storage tray that pulls up and out to gain access to gear that you could put in here. And then when you're done, you fold it down, put it away, and fold this down. Now you can load your trailer with those items that you're gonna need ahead of time when you get camping. So you actually have more storage across the board to use. I also like the idea that they're using the tire link is prepped in this unit. You do have to purchase from your dealer's parts store the tire link module and the thread on pressure sensors. What this will do is give you TPMS or tire pressure monitoring system. Um, the way your car has it. So you can monitor the tire pressures on your trailer to know that you're traveling safely. Also, the storage doors are slam latch. So you let it go and they close. 
and Shadow Cruiser uses a one key system. So this compartment door, your main door, and your outside kitchen, which we're going to see in a second, all have the same key. So gone are the days of carrying four or five keys for your trailer. They use the heavy Sure Steps, big large grab handle. We are prepped for an outside TV hookup and power here, and that power can also be used for griddles, etc. They use aluminum rims with never adjust brakes and dexter axles. Now the never adjust mean that these are self-adjusting brakes like your car has, where the industry standard for trailers is to use manually adjusted brakes. So take a trip from here to Alberta, BC, down into the States and back, and you're going to have to adjust those brakes, bring it into your dealer, adjust it. Where here, they're adjusting themselves to give you better braking, especially over the long trips. Now the 280 has always been known for their outside kitchen. They've gone away from the barbecue and they've gone to a griddle system here that is a propane griddle. There is a connection underneath the trailer because this is propane as I mentioned. There's some storage above with another power outlet there. We've got a storage nook here that's nice and large. And then of course, our outside fridge to keep some nice cold drinks. Also, as we step back, you'll notice the awning is a very large awning, covers the majority of the trailer, except where the outside kitchen is. And it has an LED light strip and outside speakers. Now, I'm gonna show you something that's very ingenious. Yes, this trailer has prep for backup camera and you can take a look at our Furion unboxing video to get an idea. We have our spare tire trailer, but Shadow Cruiser has done something inventive. They've gone with the Lippert on-the-go ladder receiver. So that is framed in your wall to accept the ladder. You can get the on-the-go ladder from your parts store so that if you wanted a ladder to get up on the roof to do maintenance, etc., you could purchase it. If you prefer not to do that, leave the maintenance for your dealer, then don't spend the money. You haven't also paid for it in having a ladder installed on it. And that's why a lot of uh, manufacturers have gone away from having ladders. But we have power stabilizers front and back so that you can put them down. They're very quick and easy. No more hand cranking or having to go find the cordless drill. One other note, or two other notes, I should say, construction-wise, before we walk inside, Shadow Cruiser uses a TPO roof that, again, is less maintenance for you as a consumer because it doesn't need all the special treatments that a rubber roof needs. There is some maintenance. Talk to your dealer about that, but it's a lot less compared to rubber. We also have Asdale in the actual wall. And I'll just give you a little close up there, Asdale. And that is a composite product. It helps to work against future delamination. And uh, I guess we'll add a third one. Our frame, beyond being a sealed underbelly, we have more cross members. Cross members run the width of the trailer, so they run across your eye beams to give rigidity so that you get less twist on a trailer. And when you're doing five-sided aluminum, the stiffer the walls you go, the stronger you want your frame. So this 28 foot frame is going to have nine cross members. And you might be saying at this point, big deal, every trailer must have that. And the answer unfortunately is no. The average 28 foot trailer has three cross members. They'd have one at the front of the trailer, one at the middle of the trailer, and one at the end. Where here you're gonna have nine cross members all the way across. Also, when you're shopping for trailers, you might walk around a trailer and notice this little grommet and hole and ask yourself, what the heck is that for? Did somebody drill a, a hole in the wrong spot? Nope. That is actually where you can put your crank mechanism. I don't know if you noticed it when we looked at 
our storage area, you put your crank handle in there and in the event that you lost power, your battery went dead, heaven forbid a motor die on your slide out, you can hand crank this slide out in because it's a rack and pinion system. So it's very easy for backup, been very reliable, but as a backup, nice, simple hand crank, pull it in, you can get home, get it to the dealer if you need it. Rarely are you going to use it in my experience, but better to have access should you need it rather than not have access when you need it. Let's take a look at this floor plan. It's been very tried and true over the years. There is a tri-fold sofa. So this sofa will open up like a bed and it will open up to about back here. So you are sleeping long ways, as my hand's going, on the sofa rather than jackknife style across. So you could get two adults there if you needed. We have a nice large dinette and something Shadow Cruiser's always done. I'm gonna show you the length of the dinette, how much it goes out past the slide out. And they've done that on purpose because if you have teenage children or adult children that will travel with you or come visit, you can sit four adults at this dinette because it is wider than the traditional dinette. And you can see that from the table as well, how wide it is. Now, as we spin around and we look at our kitchen area, you'll notice several drawers. They even have them already split for utensils, some storage underneath, nice large double sink, and that's stainless steel, of course. Our three burner range and oven, we have our microwave and storage above. And as we look at the storage above, we have residential hinges, something to note when you're shopping for an RV. Residential hinges, stronger and much more reliable over time. Uh, also, our door is the widest in the industry. It's a 30 inch door. So loading is very, very easy. And they use the 12 volt nor cold fridge. So it will run directly off your battery. It's a nice deep fridge that looks about 10 cubic, maybe even a lot. Actually, I believe that's an 11 cubic foot fridge. So nice and large. And then typical for these 280s was this pantry and storage cupboard that they have three doors but really this was the cellar for most people four bunks in the back the third bunk converts into a dinette for eating because if you are sleeping six people in here you're going to need eating for six also our top bunk can be lifted pivoted and locked out of the way and i'll see if i can do that with one hand there so that's what it will look like pivoted out of the way. So if you're a little taller, you can sit down. We've got a little bit of storage back there, lots of storage here. And our two bunks that are adult size bunks that support 275 pounds. And if you've seen some of my other videos, I like to look at the mattresses, nice thick mattress. Now, a nice little feature I noticed, I'll see if you can see that. There are USBs, let's turn off that light to get a little better look at it. There are USBs in the lights back here. So if you have younger kids, they need to charge a phone, a tablet, etc. In each of the lights, there are USBs. Let's take a walk up. We'll talk about a little construction feature in a moment. Plastic toilet, because we are going for weight savings in an ultralight. We have some good storage, power plug, and our sink, medicine cabinet, hello everyone. And then something I've loved that Shadow Cruiser has done is this special hanging area and spot to put some towels. Powered vent, skylight, and the 280 has a mini tub and surround. They've stayed with the mini tub. I have to admit, most customers buying the 280 have younger children, and that mini tub has really been handy for them. As we look forward, you'll notice our entertainment center in the 
in the center of the trailer with back lighting around it. It's a nice touch at night. You could leave the back lighting so that the trailer's not dark, but you could kick back and watch a movie. There's a radio, DVD player, and Bluetooth, so you can sit outside and enjoy the speakers. And then down below, you'll notice the little nook area underneath. That's a great little area to tuck your shoes underneath when you come in, so they're not sitting in your doorway. As we go into the bedroom, king size bed up front, and it is on the slide system. And we have wardrobes on both sides and actually sorry I should correct myself this looks like a queen now something to note all our doors for privacy are solid pocket doors even in our bunk room no curtains or anything now the construction feature I wanted to mention is when we look up you'll notice the two runs of air conditioners and I'll see if I can get that shot you can just see the two vents and the air conditioner in the center so there's two duct runs so you'll have a duct in the washroom and then it'll run so you have two ducts in the back bunk room and our duct in the bathroom as well in in the living area so you get an even distribution of cold air throughout the unit you're not sacrificing if you're new to RVing or even if you have some experience watch for this because many many manufacturers run a single run and that saves a bit of money but it's not letting your air conditioner run as efficiently not cooling your unit as fast and if you have bunks or washrooms something's going to get left out and i can attest i had an rv years ago that had a single run and the washroom in the summer was just a sweltering box in the hot weather because there was no way to cool it you'd have to pop it open and leave it open but jump in to shave or shower and it heats up super fast so a couple of items to note there that are very important if you're shopping so if you like the video, please click the like button. Also subscribe and hit the bell. We are trying to pa push past the 10,000 subscriber mark. As ultralight trailers go, five-sided aluminum, really nice finishings, great quality company. I've always been a fan of Shadow Cruisers, as you can tell from, from uh, the way I talk about the Shadow Cruisers. Something that if I was buying a trailer, I would definitely look at. Thank you to Bella Vista. I'll post a link below. They can be viewed at www.bellavistarv.com. They have these Shadow Cruisers and other great RVs in stock. So take a look and uh, feel free to mention that you've seen the video here at RVing TV. So thank you to you. I hope to see you soon at the channel and you make sure that you live life to its fullest. Take care.